Hello, Gun Nation. Big Johnson coming at you. All right, a little story time. And as you can tell by the title, I've got something super, super special. So just so you know, uh, this is for slide work engineering. Uh, I had been following them on Instagram and stuff like that, looking at a lot of their work. And I was thinking, man, I really want to have something done. Uh, and I have never seen anything kind of like the idea that I presented to him. So I was headed that way. So went in, dropped out the gun. Um, and of course, if you're wondering which gun it is, it's the CZ P09. Now I have two of them. So this was the all black one, the non urban gray edition. Um, and you know, by the title, I'm just kind of joking, but you know, it's a full customized CZ P09 optic ready. And it's one of one because it's mine. And it's like the big Johnson guns and gear edition. So if you have yours done, it can be one of one for you because I wanted to make this like no other one I've ever seen, you know, and the way that I presented it to him to slide work engineering is I kind of like, you know, here's what I want on the gun. Um, here's what I don't want on the gun. You know, here's my ideas. Here's the colors I want. And he kind of took it all in. And then I basically said, I want to let your imagination kind of do it. Uh, I want your creativeness in this and I want you to be a part of it. And I just kind of left the ball in his court. So to be honest with you, I just received it and it's Monday. So just came in, of course I had to sign for it. So it's in a sealed box and I haven't opened it. So this is the first box opening. Um, I wanted it to be a surprise to y'all like it's going to be to me. And also one thing that I did, he had sent me a text and said, Hey, I accidentally posted a picture of it on Instagram. So I actually had to get my wife to go in and kind of, um, or what do you call it, unfollow him uh, so I wouldn't see it because I didn't want, I don't, I wanted this to be a complete box opening. You're going to see it. I'm going to see it for the very first time and it's going to be in this video. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a box opening. I'm going to, you know, show it up to the camera and then I will set the camera up on the desk and we will go over it in detail but I want you to see my initial review. Again, I have not seen this gun. I don't know what he's done to it. I haven't seen one picture of it. Um, so that's kind of the fun of it. And I'll show you here, here's the box. He's an FFL, so he's able to send it to me. It's sealed. You can see all the tape. I haven't opened it. You know, there it is. So I just signed for it. So we will take the knife and we will open it together and we will unbox it together. I'll also tell you what kind of optic I put on it. Um, I did take the optic with me, so I actually took it, so that way he could perfectly mill it to the slide and get the tightest fit. But again, I haven't seen this, so I don't know how it's even boxed. But, and I will open it with my, I think this is a Rook knife. I'm really digging these knives, a little flipper. Um, you know, it just flips out like that, so. This is the first box opening, so we're gonna see it together. And man, you don't know how bad I've been wanting to see this thing. I wanted to sneak a look at those pictures and stuff, and I was just like, I'm not gonna do it. So, that is why I had to basically unfollow him <laughs> to make sure I wouldn't sneak. But here we go. So there's the box, we're gonna open it. Oh, he's got it all wrapped up. Okay. First, I'll show you the optic. I went in it because he sent me the box back because it's got the cover and stuff in it. I went the Delta Point Pro, and I've had this before, and <clears throat> I was concerned about my stigmatism. But, you know, with a larger window, this might be the way to go, so I'm not sure. But it's the 2.5 MOA, um, and I'm just going to open it up, make sure everything's still in it. I don't know where the cover is. Maybe it's wrapped up on the gun, I don't know. But So there's no cover in there. Got the instructions, so obviously he mounted it. So let's see here. So I'll throw that to the side. All right, and this is slide work engineering. Got a little sticker here. See what else is in here? Little koozie, slide work engineering. That's awesome. See what else is in here? Oh, 
Okay. It looks like this is just the gun. So it's wrapped up. I haven't seen it. I don't even know what it looks like. There's nothing else in the box. Ooh. Oh man, this thing's taped up good. I'm gonna rip it because I'm not gonna cut it because I don't want to cut into the gun on accident. And again, this is the full customized CZ P09 Optic Ready One of One Big Johnson Guns and Gear Edition. <laughs> and I'm joking about that. Okay, you can have one made too. But he told me he has never made one like this ever. Uh, so this is so far a one-off, and that's what I wondered about it. And I still can't see it because this paper's green, so it's not showing through. God, well he wrapped it up good. Holy crap! Oh my gosh. Wow. Okay. Uh, <laughs> this is it. Holy crap. Look at that. Wow. He put the cover on here, so that's why it wasn't in the box. All I can say is, wow. Oh, wow, he, yeah, he did it. Look right there, got the port cut out. Let's show you there. And I did lose the rear sight but I do have the front sight. Wow. This thing is awesome. So, and they even put the finger, you know, for the memory there on the sides. But all I can say is, wow, this thing is awesome. So let's take it to the table and I'm gonna pull it apart and we're gonna look at the inside of it. Cause like I said, I wanna see how everything was done. So here we go guys, I appreciate y'all watching. Stay tuned, we're going to the table right now. Okay guys, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. And of course this is slide work engineering. We've taken it to the table. Here's the gun. I mean, look at that stippling. Man, I mean, beautiful outline. Really nice. And of course, he Cerakoted the gun first, so I've got a little bit of Cerakote right there where the CZ emblem is, you know, the little uh, camo pattern, which is no big deal. I really actually like it. And a little bit of camo right there too. Um, you know, just running the slide seems a little, little rough, but again, I haven't oiled it or anything. You know, he had to strip it all the way down, so it needs oil on it, I'm sure. Probably not great that I'm actually doing that. Um, there's the Delta Point Pro on there, and it is illuminated. I don't know if it's going to show up. We can try to get it to light up. It might, it might not. But here's how he milled it in there. Really nice. We had talked about doing a slot in the front for a Glock rear sight, but I'm thinking he didn't have enough room because I am noticing that it's not there. Uh, if you can see it very well where the orange right here is, uh, there's no uh, front sight for a Glock. Uh, let's see, and he did put the little lines right here and right there. Got the serrations, I mean, really nice. A little sharp right there, but man, I mean, it's nice. So, you know, if you want to do that, you can show you that. Front sight, I am going to put, you know, the tall front sight on it. Now, the cool thing and the reason I went with the Delta Point Pro, you can actually remove this rear plate. And there is an extra rear sight that you can buy that actually attaches to this optic. I don't know if you knew that, but that's probably what I'll go with. I'll just actually take this plate off, attach it to that, and then it gives you a rear sight. So it's built into, or you can build it into the Delta Point Pro. 
And I, it looks like he probably wouldn't have an, had enough room to put it there, so that's probably why he didn't do it. But, man, I'm really liking this memory here. Looks like everything's really cool. But uh, let's go ahead and take it apart, you know. And again, this is my first time seeing the gun, just like it is yours. Let me grab a uh, little pin head here or something to pop this out. And then we'll look at the inside Cerakote, because I haven't even taken it apart or anything. Let's just go ahead and look at the frame itself. Inside there. I don't know how well you can see it. I'll put a little light on it. Maybe that'll help. Yeah, it's just really dry in there. So I'm sure he had to strip all the lube off of it, but there's that. Really nicely done. Really digging that color too. I had to get my orange in there. If y'all all know me, I had to get some orange in there. Here's the slide itself. There's the guide rod. That is a steel guide rod. Uh, just so you know, this is a um, stainless steel guide rod from the stainless steel guide rod company. So I had this uh, already. So that adds a little extra weight to it. Here's the barrel. Yeah, it really needs to be lubed in here. So there's the barrel. Of course, he didn't do anything to that. I even talked to him about maybe tinning it or making it gold or something like that, but he doesn't offer that type of coating. Um, and he's just right outside of Houston, if anybody's interested. Uh, he's about 30 minutes from the woodlands. And I will put his information below. Uh, right here, I see a little bit of orange. You can see it right there. Probably not a big deal. Right there inside the slide area. But I can, you know, I'm sure that's going to wear too. And then there's, you know, a little bit right here too. But there's the inside. So he kept it all clean in there. Check this. Yep, it's working perfectly. So all that's good. Let's see how he lined it up on there. Uh, from the eye, it's perfect. Yeah, and it looks like I'm looking down in there. Looks like there's a plate under the optic, a small thin plate. I could be wrong, but like I said, I haven't spoken with him because I didn't want him to tell me what was going on with it. I'm sorry if this video is not coming out that great. But there's the two screws. And I'm gonna check the torque on those too with my fat wrench, but there you go. So I will have to get a new front side. He had to break, you know, the little fiber optic, of course, to take it off and everything. Not a big deal there. But that's it, man. I appreciate y'all watching. That's the CZ P09 Optic Ready Customized One of One Big Johnson Guns and Gear Edition. So we'll throw it back together. I'll give you just a little quick, and you can see right here, a little bit of orange right there, but that's not a big deal. And I've had guns Cerakoted before but not to this extent, not being totally like really customized to this level. But, and we'll put it back together here. You definitely don't want to scratch up your uh, Cerakote job here. Come on. There we go. Functions good because he had to take it completely apart. But there it is again. And he just smelted, you know, just kind of melted the uh, back plate in there. And that is the medium that I run on the P09. And of course, you can get to your springs and everything down here from the bottom, you know, when you want to change it out. And I'm probably going to cut that lanyard off. Like I said, this is my regular P09. 
but man, it feels great in the hand. You know, of course, I love the PO9, but the reason why I did this, if you really want to know, is because the CZ P10F, I really like it, ran great, and um, the mags are compatible, so the CZ P10F mags will fit in the PO9, so when I get the extended base plates and everything on here, I can just go between the two guns if I need to, so... But I appreciate y'all watching so much. There's the underneath. And just really proud of this gun. He did a fantastic job. So I appreciate y'all so much. Remember, an unarmed nation is a very weak nation. So we all got to carry on.